welcome to this SA-15 gauntlet uh, overview. Uh, this is part of that DCS SAM detection, recognition, and evasion series I'm putting together here. So this is next on our list. And um, again, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not an expert, but I am putting a little bit of research and to help myself and help you all. So let's head on to the next slide here. All right, so the SA-15 uh, gauntlet, also known as the TOR system, uh, I can see that's the Russian designation here, the 9A331, at least that's how it's identified in DCS. It is a mobile system. Um, it can provide tracking and acquisition of targets uh, in the mobile phase. However, to launch its missiles, it does need to um, be in a stationary um, posture. Uh, the missile itself, uh, at least in DCS, is the 9M330, and there's eight of them on board. There's two sets of four, and it is semi-active. It does use, again, uh, just like the SA-2, that radio, con sorry, radio control command guidance, uh, and can detect you up to 16 miles away. Uh, its engage uh, engagement range is pretty short, only 7.5 miles, uh, so consider it as a short um, uh, SAM system. And uh, just also know that it can uh, go from detection uh, to uh, engagement within a five to eight second window. So it can uh, respond to you pretty quickly. Um, as for the missile itself, the 9A331 Tor, um, again, a DCS uses that 9M330. There's a little bit of confusion, I think, uh, with the different versions uh, from what I've seen. But I think uh, this is what DCS is. Again, it has the 8 and uses a semi-active. Uh, its altitude uh, can hit you pretty low, so don't think you can get under this radar and, and it will engage you at pretty low altitudes. Uh, and it can reach up and touch you up to 30, uh, greater than 32,000 feet. Uh, it can reach uh, Mach 2.8. And it can be pretty maneuverable, uh, can uh, get up to 20 Gs on its maneuverability. As for the system itself, it uh, does have both the top-mounted radar for target acquisition and then the front-mounted radar here uh, for target tracking. It uh, can do up to 48 targets at one time uh, for the detection and can track up to 10 different targets. And of those 10, it can actually uh, engage two of them with two missiles. Uh, and if you are doing a seed or a deed, uh, you want to make this your primary target because it will reach out and touch you. And if you are using a harm, uh, go ahead and punch in that code of 119 and uh, it will home in on that appropriate frequency. All right, let's talk a little bit about the RWR, the radar warning receiver signatures for the four NATO jets that I typically fly. I will first start with the Warhog here. Um, and all these jets are going to be very similar. And um, for the Warhog here, we do see the 15 uh, show up on our uh, RDOVR signature. And also, I did make a little tip here. Uh, if you are engaging the SA-15 with the A-10, uh, you do have a jammer, uh, jamming pod on your, um, or ECM pod on your jet, uh, go ahead and set that jammer uh, window to SAM-2, and that's going to provide jamming for that um SA-15 as well. All right. Very similar to the Warhog, the uh, the Viper is going to have the same uh, RWR signature um, that you'll see uh, for that SA-15. And for our Hornet today, um, for the RWR signature, very similar. However, again, it does have a little bit of difference um, in their symbology. Remember those uh, SAMs. Uh, typically have the um, the build, little building over the SAM designation. Uh, so you can see that is what's showing up in our electronic warfares uh, page under one of the MFDs, and then we just see the 15 on the actual RWR. Again, the, um, the EW page is the one I probably use in the Hornet to help me as well. And for our Strike Eagle today, um, of course, we are using the two system, which the RWR is integrated into that. And uh, very similar to the other jets, uh, again, we're going to just have the 15 show up, uh, as you can see on the twos page. Now, to evade this sucker, uh, it's always good to have that really good situational awareness and know that it is around. Uh, that way you can be prepared for it. Um, 
And if it does engage you, uh, the beam technique does work. Uh, if you have terrain, uh, go ahead and use that as well. And if you are engaged, you want to uh, pull your split S or do some high speed defensive maneuvers. And you do want to be punching chaff and um, using your electronic countermeasures as possible. Uh, so that kind of ends it here, kind of the overview of the SA-15. Let's go ahead and jump in the Hornet uh, to do a short demonstration on how to evade and uh, detect that system. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the game. So we're sitting here in the Hornet, ingressing into Waypoint 2, where we have this SA-15 uh, uh, tour. As you can see, it's right over here. Um, and I'm offsetting just a little bit here just so we can watch it get in action. Uh, but yeah, we're about 18 miles from, uh, from getting in and um, it should start tracking us here in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I have my RWR down here, uh, but I do use the uh, Electronic Warfare page, uh, one of the MFDs, typically, because uh, that is a little hard to see down there. So I just wanted uh, us to be able to uh, look at this tour as it gets all angry at us and uh, opens up its uh, its uh, radar system here. So we are 13 miles out. Yep, there we go. So the radar is opening up, the uh, top mounted radar, and she's probably going to fire on us pretty soon. So we'll uh, demonstrate the beam maneuver here in just a minute. There we go. Now we get our RWR signature. Good. Let's say 15 up. There we go. Now it's tracking us. There we go. Missile launch. And you can visually acquire it. Let's go ahead and get aggressive and go put that sucker on the, on the beam. Put it on our 9 o'clock. Still in the air. We've got two launches. And I am immortal. So there you go. One detonation, two detonation. No countermeasures used. No electronic uh, like ECM used right there either. Uh, so uh, we defeated both those missiles. Yeah, it's going to turn off those lights. All right. So let's get a little bit closer in here. Should probably get some speed up too. Go ahead and kick in those afterburners. Hiding behind a tree, but that's alright. We go, missile launch. So let's put her on at 3 o'clock. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Just beaming those miss missiles. We were able to defeat them. So that's four of the eight. She's launched. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our electronic countermeasures and let's make sure our, our, our countermeasures are set up to and one. Okay. Alright, so she's getting masked by our targeting bot. So I find the SA-15 to be pretty formidable if you're not ready for her. <coughs> Why there's such a short reaction time to it. Alright, she's off to her right here a little bit. There we go. She's looking right at us. Definitely not happy. There we go, missile launch. Missile tracking. I'm not doing a very good job putting it on the beam. There we go. Missile coming in. It's going to hit us. Good. Well, it's not good, but just wanted to show you. There's another one. Boom, boom. <laughs> I'm just curious why my countermeasures are not going off here. Another missile in the air. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in a little bit closer. 
So I got a little bit closer in there, and I was kind of lazy on my beaming. Uh, that's why those two missiles hit us. So I think she's launched six on us. She does have um, uh, two more in her system, and she can reload pretty quick as well. So she's probably going to fire on us again. And for this mission, let's go ahead and... Oops. Let's put a little uh, harm in her face. I was on the self-protect mode. She's helping in already on the SA-15. And, and there she goes. She's had a bad day. Uh, but thanks for watching. A short little demonstration on um, evading that SA-15 site. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. You guys take care. All right. Bye-bye.